Any meeting is a service that allows you to have meetings online. It's free, so it's supported by ads. The free service includes up to 200 attendees. During a meeting, you can share your screen with your audience. You can share an application like Internet Explorer or PowerPoint. And it also supports video conferencing, but this is not an option for VDH employees right now. You can broadcast the audio through the computer or through the phone line. You can also record and share your meetings with a link. There are several ways to interact with the attendees, including text chat and live polls. I'll show you how those work in a minute. Any meeting also creates different reports for each meeting, including a list of everyone who attended, the text chat log, and poll results. You don't have to download any software to host a meeting. In addition to the free plan, any meeting has two paid options, and you can see their details here. Check their website to read more about them. When you log into your account, you see your upcoming meetings. You can click on the tab to see information about past meetings. And when you click on view meeting details and then reports, you can view and export the reports I just mentioned. From the main account page, you can schedule a meeting. Just enter the title of your meeting, select a time and a date, and decide whether or not you want to broadcast the audio through the computer or the phone. We always broadcast through the phone so we can talk to everyone. Schedule your meeting and it's on the schedule. You also have the option to start a meeting on the fly. You do the same thing. You enter the title of your meeting, how you want to broadcast it, and click Start Meeting. The conference call information appears so that you can dial in. You'll also see many phone controls right here. We always mute all of our lines and ask our participants to unmute themselves if they want to answer a question going to ask you about a webcam, but again, this doesn't work for us right now. And here is a demonstration um, that Sarah Henderleiter and I conducted for you. Chat is a very popular feature during our meetings. It's easy to use and enables people to kind of chime in whenever they want to without having to unmute their lines and actually speak. Our participants tend to be very helpful and answer questions and share ideas here during the meetings. You just type your respond to your question and press enter. Polls are a great way to keep your audience's attention, especially if they're relevant and used as a way to jumpstart a discussion. There is a character limit for the questions, but I'm not sure what it is. So you type your question and the options that the audience has. Save the poll then select it and you also have the option to decide what you want to show percentages or the number of people who respond a certain way and it comes up and each person can click their answer and submit their vote Sarah selected the first option and then you just close the poll another way to get feedback from your audience is the mood indicator Participants can select one of the options shown here, and when they select one, the icon beside their name changes. Screen sharing is also very useful. You will see in a moment that you have the option to share your entire screen, which includes your de entire desktop or just an application. I selected a PowerPoint presentation. Um, when you share your screen, you're going to see this floating box that I just moved. Um, that allows you to see what's going on in the chat as well as to see what the audience can see there in that audience view. Um, there is actually a lag between the time you change a slide and when it changes on their end. And you can see that there in that preview box. Um, this is how the presentation appears on Sarah's screen right here. And you can't see it very well, but where that floating box is, it shows up as a black screen for your audience. 
Um, so because of this, you probably want to minimize it and ask someone else to keep an eye on the chat for you while you present because it will cover up your content. You can make any of your attendees a presenter and this gives them the same controls that you have. This is Sarah's screen after I gave her presenter controls and she chose to share her entire screen as opposed to just an application. Um, this is my view of her presentation. And you can see here that you can maximize that screen as an attendee, um, and that just moves chat kind of out of the way. Um, but you can see that black box here a lot better. You see how it kind of covers up um, what she's showing on the screen. So again, minimize that um, if you are presenting. When you end a meeting, you have the option to send your audience to a specific website. I've used this option to send them to a survey, um, and there are probably many more uses for this feature. Thanks for your attention. This ends our demonstration of any meeting.